Connecticut's Back to School Authority is sponsored by Yale New Haven Children's Hospital, one of the best in the nation. Well, remote learning and hybrid schedules may help reduce the risk of spreading the coronavirus, but it also comes with some downsides. Yeah, I think it's hard for a lot of people. Students actually lose access to resources. Parents, of course, have to scramble for child care. But a business in Bristol may have a solution right now. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is live in Bristol with more details on this story for us. Mike. Yes, and we've seen a lot of these tutor services popping up around the state and around the country to help students. But Mark and Aaron, what makes this one different is students actually come to this office space. That's where they can engage with students, access resources, and even interact with some of their classmates. I know that there is an educational gap that is just going to continue to grow if the students aren't getting extra services or help with their distance learning. Rachel Hazelton left teaching a year ago, but she realized many students were going to fall behind because of distance learning. David Haberfield also saw this coming because of his own daughter's struggles after Governor Ned Lamont closed schools last spring. My daughter happens to be the perfect candidate for something like this. Both business owners realized on their own the potential for a new service, tutoring students who are learning remotely. But theirs has a different approach, providing office space where parents can bring their kids for the school day. It's a huge help for those who are still working from home. As a working mom, it's very difficult to support him with the distance learning. Bristol Education LLC has a teacher, special education teacher, and social worker on staff. They also have a camp license and can take up to 16 kids at a time. That means some classmates can work together. When I was a teacher, I found that students really learned from each other. So um, that's something that we're hoping for here as well. Hazelton says her camp can also have classes focused on arts and socialization to add to the online classes. The camp started Monday and has five kids, but other parents have expressed interest. And the owners of the business said that they want to keep it just to Bristol for health and safety reasons, but they are considering opening up some of these other offices elsewhere around the state. I'll have more on that coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. For now, live from Bristol, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.